One month ago, I tricked the internet into thinking I had the Zelda OLED Switch before Nintendo had even revealed it. This is how I did it. To start, I knew I had to fool people in three different ways. The Switch itself, the dock, and finally, even the box it came in. That's gonna be the hard one. Thankfully, for me, and not so much Nintendo, pictures of the Switch had leaked online weeks before this. And while the pictures weren't the best, it was still enough to go on. And soon after they leaked, websites like AliExpress started listing Zelda Switch shell replacement skins that you could just buy. They looked almost identical to the then not released console. So that was the easy part. Once they arrived, I quickly swapped out the shell of one of my many Nintendo Switch consoles. And by quickly, I mean over the course of like two days, because I don't know if any of you have tried to do a Nintendo Switch shell swap before, but it's not easy. It's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And the first time I did it, I ended up drilling into my hand. And I drilled into my finger. Didn't happen this time though. I made sure to not use a drill. Now that was the secret. But eventually it was done and it looked pretty great. But then I had the issue of the dock and the box. Well, actually it wasn't so much of an issue because online I could just buy a faceplate for the dock and I knew it was gonna look pretty bad, but as long as I only showed it for a second or two in the video, maybe, just maybe, I would get away with it. This is really nice. Okay, bye. I also made sure when I was editing the video to bump up the colors on this to better match the gold and even added a reflective surface using Adobe After Effects because this one didn't have one. It's just a matte piss yellow. Piss, I said. I must be full of riz because this fit is counter. We still have to make the box, but this was really cheap to make. Mostly because AliExpress is all knockoff crap, but also because I don't shop online without using PayPal Honey, which is handy because they're also sponsoring my lies today. Honey is the best dang app you'll ever use. It automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. It's all automatic and just happens at checkout. I can't tell you the amount of times I've been shopping online and had it pop up to remind me, hey, you don't gotta spend much money when less money do trick. I even saved a ton of money while buying the camera slider I'm using right now to get this cool shot. It's true. It works for things you're already buying on sites you're already buying from. And it's just fun to save money. So go add it to your browser right now for free. That's right, I said free. At joinhoney.com forward slash beat-em-ups, it directly supports this channel. You know, the channel that lies to you. Hey, where you taking me? Put me back. Slight issue, uh, it, through all the leaked pictures that we had, we had never seen the back of the Nintendo Switch and AliExpress just kind of took a stab at it. They made this gold design that ended up not being even remotely close. So when it was revealed, I panicked a little, but then I remembered, if there's one thing everybody knows about me, it's that I'm a fantastic artiste. I grabbed a black Sharpie and I just scribbled on the back. I mean, it's just a bunch of circles. I just had to get close. But of course the box was gonna take more than a bag of pencils and a trip to Hobby Lobby. No, this did have to look legit. I needed professional help. You guys remember when I released a beat-em-ups satisfy grip? Well, something that was really cool about that is they made a whole box for me. That's right, they can make boxes with really cool art printed all over them. You see where I'm getting? Hello? Hey, um, I got a weird question for you. Shoot. Uh, I'm trying to, did you see those leaked photos of the Switch that came out? The Zelda OLED? Yeah. They, they, they look really good, yeah. Uh, I wanna, I want to make it. I want to like pretend that I have it and fake that I that I have that switch. And I already have uh -huh. I have the switch and I have the dock, but I don't know how to make the box. And I know you made my 
beat-em-ups grip box and I was wondering if you would be able to make a switch box based on the pictures. We 100% could. We're actually already making one right now for the new Zelda grip, uh, our Mythic Edition. Uh, and so a lot of what we're using in that is gonna, we could just totally carry that over and be super easy. Well, that was way easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> locked in. Now, while I had to wait for that box to arrive, I needed to plant some juicy seeds to help fool the masses into believing I had something that I shouldn't have. But to fool the world, I first had to fool my friends. I'm going to show I'm you nervous I'm going to show you a picture right okay. now. I knew if I went on my podcast and made it look like I had something that I shouldn't have yet, it would get people wondering what that is. And then when I eventually dropped the Zelda OLED switch, it would be like, oh, that's what he had. I have this <laughs> waiting at my house for when I get home. Okay. Oh. Wow. I was showing them a picture of a Zelda OLED box, but what they didn't know was the day before, I had gone to Dali Image Creator and asked it to create me a new picture of the Zelda OLED box so that it didn't look like one of the leaked pictures, and it didn't do that at all, actually. It just made this really sick art of Zelda. Like, that's actually really good. AI is freaky. No, I couldn't get a new picture of the box, so I was just showing them the leaked images, and they didn't ask any questions, so... I saw the rumor, yeah. Leaked, yeah. That's crazy, dude. I would not. I'm, I think I'm you should thinking, wait for an announcement. I'm thinking yeah. as the second they announce it, the second they announce I dropped it, the yeah. video. Yep. Yes. That was that. The box finally arrived, and... We got really close to the real thing. There was some out of place text and the logo is supposed to be the special edition badge, not the Zelda logo, but I mean, all things considered. So now YouTube already thought I had something that I shouldn't. And all I had to do was wait for Nintendo to announce this thing was real. Let's go, my guy! Let's go! Yeah, I'm live on Twitch on YouTube, so you can ask me questions about this. Um, alright, so... That was wild. It would really suck after all of this work that the fake Switch was actually the one in the leaks the whole time. And I had just gone and made a fake of a fake. Not as fun of a video. One million views later, I had succeeded in my goal. But did you really think this was the only time I lied to you? Think back. I'm dangerously close to having every single special edition Nintendo Switch that Nintendo has ever officially released. How bad can it be to just finish the collection? Oh, that's right. Months before this, I bought every single Nintendo Switch console, including the rarest Nintendo Switch valued at $3,000. And after getting outbid on an eBay listing and not being able to find another one, I turned to AliExpress and found replacement shells in the video, I told you there's no way I would buy the fake version of this, and then I just so happened to find a real one somewhere randomly on an Australian website for $3,000? You think I would pay $3,000 for this when I could just make a fake one for $12.67? Nope, the Zelda Switch is a fake, this is a fake, and guess what? I lied again because both of these switches aren't fake. They're very real. I just bought some fake skins for this video so I could compare them to the real ones. I thought that would be a fun idea. And I'm sorry, did you really think I scribbled on it with a Sharpie? Uh? Admit it, who fell for that? Sorry about all of that, but now we can actually get to the video. I bought from AliExpress these fake, actually, not bad looking uh, replacement shells for the Zelda Switch. So if you're looking at getting the new Tears of the Kingdom OLED, but you don't actually want to get it, the interesting thing is these fakies were actually available before Nintendo revealed the new Switch. That, that part isn't a lie. They made these based on the leaked images. And considering that, I think they did a pretty great job. First up, we can take a look at the dock. 
I, I mean, it's kind of clever that they just sent a faceplate for that. This looks really ugly. It is not a reflective nice gold like on the actual dock. I expected much better for my 17 cents. Oh, I should have mentioned as well, uh, I went and bought another, these are both real, and I went and bought another one of these because I don't, I don't, I still don't trust turning this one on. I still feel like Nintendo is gonna come knocking the second I do. <laughs> why the boxes look different is this is not an American box. I kind of prefer this box. It has the Zelda logo on it. This one has special edition game not included. Huh? Other than that, they're pretty similar. The one I like more has a giant red warning. Warning, don't unbox this on your channel a month early. I don't know. Okay, but here it is, the actual real Zelda Switch. And as you can see, they did a pretty Dang heckin' nice job, I would say. The gold logo is just big and rectangle, big and squished. And then as we talked about with the back, just completely different. Honestly, kind of like this more. It's even kind of a reflective gold, which is nice. I think I like AliExpress's backplate more than the official one, which is kind of wild to say out loud. Oh yeah, they also sent white buttons. Which I'm now realizing this doesn't even have white buttons. That could be really cool, actually. You know, funny enough, if I had a bought these when they started selling them, way before they even revealed the new Switch, I think I could have fooled the internet. The last thing I want to do, because we always do this when I get a new Switch, is open it up. This is the one I'm actually going to turn on and use and it feels weird to unbox it again on the day that it comes out a month after unboxing it the first time but yeah it's it's just as it's just it's the same it's the same it's i have a real one <laughs> i've done this before all right everyone sorry for this really silly goofy video but i hope you enjoyed it like comment subscribe especially if you were fooled i'll see you guys next time and I lied a fourth time. This video isn't actually even over. In fact, I lied a fifth time because everything after I said it wasn't fake was fake. Everything is fake. You don't know what to believe. Do I have a real one? Did I ever have a real one? Maybe both the ones I have now are both fakes. Maybe I'm fake. Maybe I'm not even real. Is this the real me or was that the real me? Who are you? What's the point of your existence? Maybe you're fake. And none of this is real in the first place, but all just a fabrication of your imagination. See ya.